Welcome to another episode of Stoppage Time TV. Live in the flesh, live and direct, direct in effect, with audio. Listen, let's go. Let's fucking go, lads. Let's go, let's go. Let's, go. let's, go. let's, hey, let's have it. Let's have it. No expletives. You know the new rules. No expletives. Mm. We're going to do, in fact, you know what? Get involved. We're going to do a no expletives challenge. The person that says the most expletives, let us know. We keep a count. That's only going to be correct. Keep a Keep a count. The most expletives, when we say expletives, we're talking about swear words and whatnot, not like little funny jokes and whatnot. The most expletives, let us know at the end of the stream, there will be a fourth or some kind. It's gonna be like, All right, cool. Remember troops is blood and fire. They're saying, they're saying, the people are saying there's an echo. Mm. Production. I said reverb. You gotta sound like T Pain and that. Bro, <laughs> that guy goes, Leah's Rose. <laughs> no, you didn't, Whoa. though. You didn't. I, no, 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 you didn't. Uh, <laughs> we can leave. I, I, I just asked the questions, man. <laughs> Alright, cool. Listen, man. Let's get into it, man. Before... But is it, can they hear us, yeah? They can hear us. They're saying Fuad's mic is cooked. Fuad's mic is cooked. Fuad's Look at what's going away. on. We're looking bush. This ain't gonna make the this ain't gonna make the second the the, the, the post-production <laughs> episode. Don't worry, people. You're only seeing this if you're live. Yeah, Listen, I mean, man. this Listen, thing, this man. is getting cut. Ah, uh, cool. We good? No, we're not good. There is auto tune on. Man, I fed out to my man. knees when I lost my said, I get them goosebumps every. <laughs> I get those goosebumps every. We time, good? Ah, right, yeah. cool. Let's go into it. Listen, where I want to start? FA Cup weekend. My team's not participating, but both your teams are. And the way of the land. Let's you know. Let's not be around the bush. There's no more Arsenal. There's no Chelsea. There's no Newcastle. Yeah. So the big teams, big teams are Manchester City, who've had to play Chelsea and Arsenal already, Manchester United and Spurs. All three of those teams, if they look at the way of the land, will think, I want to leave with something this year. Mm -hmm. We'll get into your Carabao Cup, you know, final mm -hmm. that's imminent as well. But let's start with the United side of things. Before the game, what was the talk in the village? Did people want to see sort of rotation? Mm. What, what was happening? What are people saying in terms of towards the end of January with the fixtures coming up as well? And then tell me how you feel after the game. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Man United have got, what, 10 games in 29 days or something. Absolutely mad. Um, we played eight games in the last 30-something days as well. So the fixtures pile up is insane for Man United. But this is what you got to do when you want to be in four competitions. And obviously, we finished sec second in the Europa League, which made us play Barcelona at this stage. So... You live. This is the you die by what happens in it. Like you mm. live and die by it. So everyone wanted to kind of see like a lot of rotation in this game um, because people are saying you know it's Reading, it's this, it's that. But uh, I'm not really sitting on that side of things. You know what I mean? Because in my opinion, you got to play your strongest team in in a game of like the FA Cup because that's a that's a route to silverware. And people are gonna say, oh, it's just the FA. It's just it's just Reading. It's just the FA Cup. But you have to take everything seriously. When we made a couple changes, it became a basketball match, bro. They scored as well, and it became a basketball match. You don't know how the game's going. What you don't want is to give yourself excuses. Mm. Ten Hag is making sure there's no excuses. You know what I mean? We got we got Nottingham Forest next. 3-0 no up at Old Trafford. I would hope Ten Hag would then play a, a, a weakened side because you should be able to trust us enough at 3-0 no up mm. to go through in that competition with and winning as well. So... I don't get how people are trying to say, oh, rest them, but you rest them for two games. Mm -hmm. They go up against Leeds or something and all of a sudden, oh, they're not in match rhythm. It's very much a, it's a lose-lose in a way, damned if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, look. damned if you don't, damned if you don't. But if you look at what he's putting out there, Ten Hag said before the um, game, he's finally starting to try and get this attack to, to click, to be a cohesive unit. Ronaldo was here once upon a time. Martial's here in and out. We don't read Rashford has to play nine. This person, this person. <coughs> it's all been a kind of a mess. So now yeah. he's like, okay, I've got Rashford, Weghorst, and Anthony. I'm gonna try and run with that. And they need to be a cohesive unit alongside Bruno, um, Bruno alongside Casemiro, alongside Eric. So he's trying to build co cohesion, which we're gonna need throughout the season. Ericsson's so, injury. Ericsson's injury. People are like, oh yeah, but see, this is why. It's an impact injury though. People are talking about don't play because of fatigue. Mm -hmm. It's an impact injury. You, any game you play, somebody can just come and do what Andy Carroll did. Do you know what I mean? Andy Carroll, my guy, but he was moving absolutely crazy. I was going to DM him like, brother, are you, are you good, fam? Are you good? Like, I'm surprised you're still home. playing, to be fair. Bro, like, are you yo, good? We're think, number two up top. Yeah. He's moving crazy. On a pez, you play a contract. Pez, pez. So he, you know what I mean? That can happen in any game, an mm. impact injury. If it was like, he was running, pulled his hamstring, then I'd be like, oh, okay, Ten Hag got it wrong. But Ten Hag sat um, Reverend 
who we know is prone to muscle injuries mm -hmm. and stuff. So he is thinking that way. Impact injury can happen in any game, and it is what it is. I'll ask you this, because the point you made there was um, about FA Cup games and playing your strongest team. Why do you think, or not even why do you think, why do people try and use FA Cup as a way to sort of be like, mm, yeah, because at the end of the day, like you said, it's an opportunity to win silverware. It's an opportunity, Also bro. as well, with what you're saying, like I've never thought about it like that, but if you're trying to build team cohesion, mm -hmm. you would think that playing against a side that's not in the same league as you, a bit weaker, gives you a chance to be expressive and actually really go for it. Mm -hmm. Compared to like a must win Barclays Super League game where it's like, it's just mad. Like you've mm -hmm. got Brighton popping the ball around. Like against the Redden, that three should have more time to be able to gel and play football. And, so and, like, and they did. I mean, that was, Anthony had a good game. Mm -hmm. I mean, he nice got man of the match. He got a nice assist. It's a better match than he usually. He wasn't shooting the greatest, but it was a much better performance. They're and, saying he and, found his level. Right, right, listen, they'll say that. It's, it, Nottingham Forest as well, isn't it? He, he had a good game against Nottingham Forest, in my opinion. I thought he was weirdly getting dissed against Nottingham Forest. Like you cannot think the player is amazing, but you don't. You can. I can Respect identify when McTominay has a good game. Mm. I can identify when Maguire has a good game, mm. whether you rate them or not. And I think his last two games have been a bit better. But again, when we get to the Premier League, Leeds, mm. Barcelona, Crystal Palace again, are, are you going to perform the same way? So yeah, that's what we're waiting to see. But overall, there's not really much to say. You expect Man United's strongest team to beat Reading. Mm -hmm. You expect Man United's strongest team to beat Crystal Palace. Mm. And we've done it in two good, good ways. You know what I mean? After the disappointment against Arsenal, Casemiro back in. Mm. Not going to talk about him missing the Arsenal game, but he just shows the importance that to our team that he is and he's enjoying himself this season going forward four goals five assists insane what the hell that's yeah. that four goals five that's assists that's that Kante nine goal contributions 18, 19 season bro nine goal contributions from your defensive midfielders just, and he it's didn't nuts. start the season you, you wouldn't even know ask what for it that. is I feel like more and more as he's playing he's realising oh I don't just have to do the sitting role I can actually like yesterday that was almost him flexing with the chip he's, he's vibing like, oh what well, I, I can get forward and I can do this. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, yeah, that's come on, thing. like, that's who, who's ready to Casemiro? Do you know what I mean? He's looking at them like, I ain't, I don't, I don't come up against these guys. You know what I mean? So he probably looked and said, I saw a guy like this at uh, Jerusalem. <laughs> <Like, laughs> <Yeah, laughs> you know what I'm saying? So honestly, you expect it. And you're talking about Arsenal out, Chelsea yeah. out, Newcastle out, Liverpool out. Liverpool this is out. another opportunity for Man United to be looking at it and saying, we want to go to Wembley again. We're going, yeah. we're making one trip to Wembley. Listen, I don't put jinx on it, but we should be making one trip to Wembley. Mm. I want two. Mm. I want two trips to Wembley this season. So let's see what we can do, bro. With that, two questions. First one, for Ten Hag, obviously, like, everyone's been talking about what he's done in the space of six months, which granted is very impressive. We've spoken about it. What is, at the end of this, come the end of the season... What will a good season look at like right now in the space we are just before the end of January? Where you've got three cup competitions, one that you're essentially in the final, you know what, should, should nothing go wrong. The other where a lot of the big teams are out and one where ultimately you never know because it's a wild competition, mm. that like European competition. But what would a good season look like? Is it top four and one trophy? Two trophies and mm. what, 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 is, what is a good season for Tenor? For me, top four and a trophy is a, is a good season for me. A good that's or what I want. That's, maybe that, that's, that's, that's exactly what I, in the start of the season, top yeah. four on a trophy, I'm taking that. But is that that's a good what I want. or is it a must? What do you mean? As in like, he must get that or? Yeah, that's I mean, team? ideally, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. I mean, that's what you want. You want to break the, you need to break the six year no trophies. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And if you're getting to a cup final, we you must win. win. <laughs> we're in the final. Mm. We didn't get knocked out in the quarter. We're in the, we're in the final pretty mm. much. So you want to win that. So top four, and a trophy. And I said I said before that might not have to get back into Champions League. That's mm. the most important, right? So if we didn't finish in top four, you better win the Europa. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think we're going to win the Europa this season. I don't actually don't. It's too late, so, yeah. But I think top four and a trophy is good. If you can even get third, comfortable third place and a trophy or two trophies, mm. yo, we're laughing here. Do you know yeah, what I'm trying yeah, to say? So that's all I want. Top four and a trophy. We're on course for that. Mm. Of course, we have a thin score. We're not moving active in the market. Mm. I'm seeing Pedro Porro over there, mm. Dan Juma. I, we don't even need to get into <laughs> what you man are doing at the moment. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> yeah. I mean? I'm seeing Arsenal, Arsenal mm. copying, man. I'm seeing everyone's moving. We're not, we're not moving like that. So mm. it's a bit worrying. But then when you look over at Liverpool, you're thinking, all right, they're not coming. Uh, it, I hope they're not coming, but I can't see Liverpool going on some crazy run and making top yeah. four. Spurs, I still think are going to be in and around the picture. Chelsea, 
we have to see it's what's going to happen. Distance to catch it's up. a lot of it's distance. It's a lot of so distance. So we have to see. So yeah. really and truly, I want like a third place and a trophy. Right, so before I go into Spurs, Ten Hag doesn't look like he's a man for excuses. No. But, but, and I don't think he will make excuses, but this Finn squad thing, I mean, you've basically. I wouldn't say it's thin. Sorry, it's 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 lack of quality. Yeah, depth. yeah. He, he, like, if quality. if he could, yes. if he could, he would bring some people, like some players in. Do you think that ultimately that this squad could be of detriment to those targets, or do you think you've got enough to to be able to get them? I think we've got enough. We, I think we've got enough simply because we have Eric Ten Hag. We simply mm. because we have Eric Ten Hag. I think we've got enough to get what we want to get. Mm. But yes, the the squad is going to come into question, bro. Ericsson, okay, let's see how long he's injured for. Mm. Fred is going to probably come in or McTominay. What does that do for our team? Ericsson has seven assists, eight assists, mm. all competitions, I think it is. So what does that do for us? Do you know what I mean? Do we mm. lose something massive there? Do you know mm. what I mean? One injury to Casemiro, what happened? One injury to Rashford, mm. what happened? So we're going to see this squad tested. Mm. But I think because we've got a manager who is very good at identifying each game and saying, this is what we need to do to win this game. We need to counter this game. We need to possess this game. We need to... He's good at identifying those type of things. I mm. think because we've got a manager like that, we can get there. If we had like another manager or whatever, I will be very worried mm. because our squad, the problem is the depth, the quality between the first team and the next lot. The, the guys that we rely on mm. to the next lot, the drop-off is too much. If De Gea, I'm not De Gea's fan. I don't think he, he's just there. But if De Gea got injured, Butland. If Varane gets injured, Maguire. What happened to Dubravka? He got he sent back. straight back. He, he, back. He, he started doing moving mad against Burnley. We said, hey, go the hell. Go back. You're about to cost us a season, bro. Go back. Wow. So, so, you know what I mean? Like, you look at the difference. You got Butland to De Gea. You, look, you got Varane to Maguire. You got Casemiro to McTominay. Rashford to Ganacho. There's too much of drops of quality yeah. in a Bruno injury. Who even plays in that position that we're going to replace him? No one. So... That's the problem. We need this squad fit. But we've seen squads go all seasons fit. We've seen Liverpool do it. We've seen Arsenal. They've had some injuries. But the core of it, the main men fit Me most of the season. Medical so you need team, to be able to do it. Medical team got to be on it, but All that stuff that Get Ronaldo was saying. Pumps. All that stuff that Ronaldo was saying. I hope they quickly put a couple thousands and just patch up the, the medical beds. But speaking of managers, Conte. We don't know if he's going in summer. Mm -hmm. He's been given... Two, two nice signings, I would say, that yeah. helped the squad. Obviously, you get the win in the FA Cup. What is the expectation on Conte before he leaves? It, let's say he's leaving. Hypothetical is leaving. Where's the expectation before he leaves that Spurs door that he has, to, he has to do? Same with what he said, to be fair. Top four and a trophy. I is that the must? That's the must. I mean, you qualified for top four last year. And yeah, granted, I said, I don't think we will because I don't think we've got that quality in depth. But mm. I think Pedro Porro addresses a serious problem in the team and a serious problem in his system. Because mm. I think for his system to work, you need quality wingbacks. Mm. Now you've got Perisic, you've got Porro on the other side as well. Mm. I think now we can actually see what the system looks like. Mm. Son getting two goals should be massive for his confidence. But I've seen, this as well. in, mm. I've seen this flash in the pan before though this yeah. season. So I, I won't get too excited. It was Preston as well. So let me not get too carried away. Mm. But nice for the confidence. Kane getting rested as well. So you're getting three goals, still getting goals. Mm. Dan Juma coming off the bench. That's what I said. When he comes in, I'm hoping, I said, I don't know if we need him, mm. but I think just to light a little bit of a competitive fire on the sun mm. to say, listen, that position is not yours. Mm. Even if you're dropping stinkers, we do have quality there show that as well so for me I, I've said even though I don't think we'll get it the expectation has or the targets has to be we're qualifying for top four again because you look at the situation it's still up for grabs mm. yeah you can say United and Newcastle are there chasing away but they're dropping points over the last couple of weeks and mm. even though we have I, the fixtures coming up I think we've got City next then it's Leicester, West Ham, Wolves, Chelsea are in there as well. Mm -hmm. So it's winnable games, in my opinion, or, or teams that you should be kind of taking three points off, mm -hmm. in my opinion. But City, it's just a tough one. Listen, City, and but, no, 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 <laughs> City, 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 might, be, no, 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 no. <laughs> City, City might be the only one you look over, but Chelsea, I would love to see our level now, where we're at com uh, competing against a, a Chelsea yeah, coming back from the ashes. I would love, let me see where your level's at. Mm. Perfect. This is mm. what I want to see. I don't yeah. want to see... Oh, uh, every week we play easy teams and we just pick up easy three points. No, I want to see this team get tested. No, but that's the problem with the Premier League, though. There's no easy game, man. And, and, and you can, games, you can say that to what? an extent, but the way I'm looking at this now, 
if if we can sign another centre back, yeah. possibly, yeah. I don't see any reason why we should be missing out on top four. You've got a top quality coach. You've got Harry Kane. You've got Kulusevski. If Son can get back to some form of form, yeah. Bentoko can get back his fitness. You've got pieces there that I've said all season we can build around, but haven't been performing. Yeah. Can you actually deliver at the in the second half of the season? That's I'm going to throw you this one now, yeah, because a lot of Conte's discussion right has been sort of you know his frustrations. Like I said, Pero, that's his type of signing, yeah? Danjuma, I'm not too sure, but Danjuma has quality. Danjuma's a, a low-risk loan, let's be honest. Yeah, but he has, he has quality and he's, he's the type of player that Conte can utilise. I don't know if he's like, it's like a Conte go-to, Yeah, but I've seen Conte utilise guys like that. Do you think his mind can be changed to stay on? And if he doesn't stay on, with the pieces that you're assembled into this squad right now, mm -hmm. who would you want to come into that job? Uh, the, the, you see, the, 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 the next, next man up, I don't, I don't know. know. I've, I've said, said last week, week I, I think, think it was. was. I said, like, Tuchel would probably be the only one. Because that's who they're talking about. But then it's like, are you going to go back to the Chelsea well again? And Tuchel is another one of those, like, Conte and Jose, where he has a an expectation. Mm. He's just left Chelsea where he's got unlimited money and PSG unlimited money. Is he going to want to adapt to the system? So that's where, again, you is just, the you mix stop right. taking Chelsea, man. And, 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 you and that's stop the thing as well. Chelsea, and then you go as well. It. Bro, it's going too far. From <laughs> but I, I like top stays. managers, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like Spurs, Conte, Jose. Good managers are good managers, missing. man. Because where do you go cool, after Conte? Is it back to Pochettino Wait, did, again? Did Huddle like... do us before he did you guys? I can't even remember that. But that's that's going way well. back, man. Listen. <laughs> but uh, then it's like you go back to Poch and I'm just like, all right, but Pochettino is walking back into the same situation that he left. Mm. So I would love it if Conte's mind can be changed, if the board mm. aren't completely shut. And if we do get top four FA Cup final, he's like, you know what? Right, I'll stay on for another year or two. Mm. Cool. But does that mean you're then going to back him like how he wants to be back? That's mm. the issue is don't just keep Conte around as a token character. Mm. If you're actually like this now, signing Poro, good. I don't think this is finished. I've said we need three positions to address. You've addressed one so far, despite mm. two signings coming in. We still need a centre-back and a creative midfielder. Mm. So it's not just there. Do you know what I mean? So mm. it's progression, but I don't think it's enough to make Conte be like, oh, we've got now. Hype. Let's move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's true. Can you coach? Please coach. What? But we move, man. We move. Did we he move. not pick up scrubs last year in mid-table and take them to the Champions League? We yeah, saw that. And he did it with a January spark. Mm. Now we're getting that January spark again. Let's see if we can coach. Oh, they won't give I can't they, believe we hey, got They won't give Dutch ten. They, they won't you give Ten Hag a January spark, boy. They won't give Ten Hag a January hey, spark. Let me tell you that. Uh, hey, hey can we please get into what we just witnessed today, though? Mm. What we just witnessed today. We're it's seeing. We're de seeing the death. Of a major institution. <laughs> Yo. Does everyone have a gloss? Bro, let's no, no. raise your toast to the... <laughs> to what was... To what was a, a, a great stint. Bro, to the almost quadruple winners. I guess we'll never know. Oh, my God. You lot are some sick individuals. Mm. <laughs> Listen, man. Bro. You see, you see life, yeah? There's that saying, yeah? Never be surprised when show, someone has shown you who they are and they continue to show everything. They said, seven years, seven years, seven years. I said, no, maybe it's just coincidence. Nah, come on, man. Come on. It, it, it's happened. It's happened again. It's, it's happened, happened again. again. Jürgen Klopp. <laughs> it's, it's happened, happened again. again. Brighton. Even, again. Even, <laughs> even, <laughs> even Brighton, man. That's what I say. My top, it's happened again. <laughs> it's, it's happened again. again. <laughs> Mitoma is happening again. Do you know that goal as well, though, man? I love how we didn't even... Like, no, we've got, no, no first name. He's just Mitoma. But honestly... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, bro. Yeah, he's he's just Mitoma. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I think it was last year I came here and it was either last year's stoppage or, or beginning of this season's stoppage where I said... Their men are just tired, man. They're tired mentally. They're tired physically. And sometimes if you ask something of someone to a certain extent, it's like, no, I can't do it anymore. And I think a lot of people didn't like that in the comment section. They think it's like, what do you mean they're tired? It's their job. And they think, listen, sometimes in life, you just get to a stagnant place. We tried for so long. If you think about, as you said now, nearly quadruple winners. That was last season, right? Mm. So what did they take away from last season? What did they walk away with? Two trophies. Two trophies from a situation where they played every Do single game. Do not let United win these those two trophies Listen, this they, season. They played, every single game in, they played every single game in the season. <laughs> How, are you two trophies. <laughs> How do you come back this year and then go, you know what? Let's go again. Mm. When you've been running at that stride for the, what, five, six years? Them man are officially 
cooked. Yeah. They are but they, cooked. They, yeah, again, they, but they tried to freshen it up as well. Let's be they, honest. They've tried. Diaz, also, Nunes, Canate, yeah. Thiago. Bashetic from the academy. Yeah, and I'm saying, but he's yeah, starting yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I feel like they've they've tried to come in with some of those and some of them haven't really taken off. Obviously, you've had Diaz's injury as well, but... Yeah. Is it just a motivation and like because we've said that about Barcelona, we've said that about City, we've said that about Pep as well. Mm. But is it just that though? Is motivation no, making Salah miss these one on ones? I mean, is it just that? It, is is motivation? I'm not, remember, I'm not saying it's just motivation. I'm just saying in general that's mm. where they are. Like most Salah's cooked. Yeah. I mean, that's not motivation. He's just cooked. Yeah, but when you say when you say motivation, right now, if we go and speak about Manchester City and Pep speaks about motivation, people will speak about the manager. People will say Pep's not motivating them mm. anymore. Mm. So why is this motivation not on Klopp? No, mm-hmm. it's on because no, ain't Klopp over there. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. It, it, it ain't, ain't Klopp ain't Klopp meant to even ain't that meant to be one of Klopp's biggest traits? Motivating them. I'm gonna I'm a one one draw. I'm gonna bring all of you guys. We're gonna do we're hooray gonna in front of the up. in front of the fans. Pump in the chest. Mm-hmm. That is one of Klopp's things. Mm-hmm. Motivating. He makes yeah. you mm-hmm. motivated. Exactly. So if that motivation, if the players are not motivated under Klopp right now, isn't that questionable for Jurgen Klopp? Because at this point, we can't just keep saying, oh, this, the player, this, the... It's we the have whole, to start looking because the, I feel like, everything. as I keep saying, there's a hesitation with Klopp because he's done a good job to pick them up from somewhere where they shouldn't be. Mm. But, I mean, from He picked them up from somewhere where they shouldn't be, yeah, and got them to where they should be. But at some point, you got to start wondering, nothing is changing. So week in, week out, nothing's changing. Yes, okay, I think this midfielder, Keita, Thiago, and Bacetic, what's his name? Bacetic. Bacetic, it looks a bit better. Mm. I think it does look a bit better. But still, at the same time, Thiago, Keita, and Bacetic is not, it's it's not, not what he wanted <laughs> to design, bro. But, it's not but, what he wanted. How, did, how did he end up here? Let's, let's, let's address it. Let's address it. So... And you know what? Fair play because that's a tongue twister. You tried. I, I, I got you. Shut it. Bro, bro, bro. No, no, but why, you throwing, why has he got that random J up in there, bro? <laughs> but shut it. Why? You know what I mean? What's he doing there? <laughs> <laughs> but um, let's address it. And I'm going to address a few things. When it was the, was it 1,500th game or something like that? The yeah, the 1,000th game. The Wenger comment. Any other thing as well, when it's not going his way, it's like he's been, like someone stabbed in the back. You've seen signs over the last two to three years, I'd say, of a man that thinks, raw, like, how am I going to turn this around? You can tell he's jaded. Mm-hmm. With his team, like I said, the build that he's tried to build, I don't know if that's necessarily what he wanted to do. And like we're saying, two weeks ago, he has more authority with the signings now. So we look at Darwin. Dud. What's, what's, what are you trying to do there? Gakpo so far. What mm-hmm. they calling him? Gashpo. Nyashpo. Mm. Nyashpo is insane. I said Nyashpo, you know, that's crazy. insane. Who made that up? (laughs) Me just now. That's hilarious. (laughs) Nyashpo. That is... That's ridiculous. That's insane. Thank me for that one later. But like... (laughs) What I just did. Uh, Of course. Moving moving like 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 Darwin. Darwin. (laughs) But, um... Again, we come back to the seven years thing. They said the same thing at Dortmund. I'm sure now, if we, like... If we laid out everything that happened <laughs> at Dortmund, year for year, what happened, we would see exactly the same thing. <coughs> like, thing is- it's not coincidence. It's just what happens in terms of, for me personally, with, and, that's not, and that's nothing against him. For five of those years, bro, you gave them the best movie ever. But it's coming to a time now where ultimately, we've said it before, but for clarity's sake, is the man bigger than the club? Is it in a situation of because the club not. is selling that they're not thinking of taking this sort of person away from the situation and then potentially making it thing... Or similar to the whole, they're no, nowhere near Ferguson. No, no, but with Ferguson, Ferguson was like, oh, I know it's my time to leave. Here's a person to come yeah. in. Are they even in a place where they can start thinking of contingency? I mean, I mean, it depends what Liverpool... Want how, it, it really depends how they want to move next. Now, there's no way Klopp is bigger than Liverpool. And this is why with AJT, AGT, yeah? When I was at DR Sports, I was having this debate with him and I said, bro, would you build Klopp a statue? He said, yes. I said, you will build Klopp a statue. Pigeon. That is crazy. This guy is not bigger than Liverpool. Do people know what Liverpool are? This is one of the biggest clubs in the world. Like this club is, their history is serious, bro. So all of this, like, I've been seeing people say, even if we got relegated, I'll stick with Klopp and all this mad talk. It's ridiculous, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not here saying they should sack Klopp. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is we've seen seasons already where Liverpool had a couple injuries. They did have injuries, but Klopp couldn't reinvent it to at least 
you know what I mean? To really push them yeah. over. We he what did they get? I they got four. I think they end up nicking four for something in the end. They had a really off season, should I say? Mm. And this is another one, a really off season. And it's just kind of like so. If a few things ain't right with Jurgen Klopp's teams, are we just I gonna think, have to see a collapse think, every single season? So Liverpool might come back next season, yeah. and then the next season they're gonna collapse if something else happens again. I, the, you've got to find you. solutions. You. You've got to find solutions. I, I just feel that. like I, Klopp ain't finding solutions. I agree with that. I think Klopp needs to reinvent himself, in my opinion, because I think the same thing that has got him his success is what's costing him it's now. Failure. The love and the loyalty and that motivation that you got to say in. Mm. That he's given to those players. That's what's helped them build this platform, win every trophy, get the fans behind him in that same way. But I think when you see the same patterns being burnt, I think sometimes one thing we don't look at for managers, we look at it from players, but development. Yeah. You've got to have as a manager, you've got to learn lessons, you've got to see things and happen. And I think that's where I think Klopp is struggling a little bit. Where we've said previous managers that we're comparing to, like Pep and Fergie, that mm -hmm. was the one thing they did. They love these players. I'm going to use you for the time I need you. But I'm going to get ahead of the curve and cut you off when I need to. And I feel like sometimes he's attached himself too much to players that the Hendos and the Virgils, even Salah giving him this big contract and hasn't got ahead of the curve. Mm. Marnie, you could have said maybe that was him getting a little bit ahead of the curve. And mm. all right, cool. But can he do that for the whole lot? Mm. And then that's reinventing a lot. So I think it is a big job. The question is, is in my opinion, uh, the question I'm asking Klopp now is, can he reinvent himself to be that guy where... I can evolve Liverpool into this next phase? Or is it just I've a got, thing of, I've got another this is going to fizzle out and burn out and yeah. he's now going to sell this seven-year programme to another team? But does I've this also... Question. Sorry, I'll go after you, but yeah. I've got Does this also me. show, though, that a lot of them players that are Liverpool were over-reliant on Klopp as well? Oh, 100%. <clears> does it show system. that they're... Yeah, they're, oh, they over-reliant. Now, everything, you have these coaches, of course, but are these players over-reliant? Okay, the system has broken down. Yeah, we know this. I am not even seeing a shadow of the players that they were. Individual ability. No. If I was seeing Mo Salah go absolutely brazy, I would be like, okay, cool. You know, maybe he's being let down by the gaffer. But at the same time, they're over-reliant on him. Trent is getting cooked. Like, he came back from the World Cup and I was like, he's been improved defensively. Like, the last couple games... <laughs> But he's gone, he's gone back to type. Yeah, yeah. Matoma is taking the piss out of you, bro. He got subbed, and then Matoma, Matoma and again, he's, gone, he's probably looking at it like, see? Oh, yeah, he's, 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 he's hard work. You know what I mean? You know, everyone can guard him. You know what I mean? But at the same time, he's cooking you for fun, like yeah. two times in a row. Like, you're looking at this type of things, and I'm like, Trent is nowhere near the level. And we knew he was benefiting from Henderson behind him in that little place. Whipping it in, mm -hmm. Mane's gonna come at this back post. Salah's gonna get any rebound. We know this, but Salah, Salah, he's not at the level. Um, Fabinho, Thiago, he's not coming and done anything now. If his name was somebody else and it wasn't at Liverpool, even KDB gets more slander than Thiago. Yeah, Van KDB Dijk. gets more than Thiago, so it shows that like these guys, Thiago's meant to be one of the best in the world. I think he was one. I think he was one of the best in the world. But he's not lifting Liverpool's level either. So are these guys over-reliant on what Klopp built for them? Mm -hmm. Because they have completely fell off. Andrew Robertson today, every single touch that guy had was backwards. Every touch. I tweeted, what are you doing? People start saying, Harley, Harvey Elliott, left wing tax. I'm like, stop blaming the Harvey. The he went and scored as well. Stop blaming Pep stop, Linders. Stop blaming yeah. these type of guys. But every touch he had was backwards and kept passing it backwards his body positioning was awful. I'm like, this was one of the flying fullbacks of, of world football. Trent on the other side. Mm -hmm. They have just completely fell off a cliff. So it just makes me think a lot of them were just over-reliant on what Klopp, on Klopp, Klopp built for them. 100% go for it. Go for it. <clears throat> so, you guys are talking and it got me to thinking because when, if you want to go broader picture in Liverpool, I think to myself, how are Liverpool actually won? What do they think? And everything with Liverpool is that, yeah, it's got to be the right cultural fit. It's all about, you know, this culture and, mm -hmm. you know, good lad and everything. Got me thinking, right? So let's go look at the managers. Yes. So, Jared Hulig, RIP, um, what's his piece? So, he was there for six years. Mm -hmm. Who came in after him? Rafa. Benitez. Rafa was there for six years and then they left by mutual consent. Mm -hmm. know? Remember, they were looking for manager hat. What did they do? I Punch remember. Him for a year. The Docena. Mm -hmm. um, what's my man from Andalek? Jovanovic. There was one nasty. That Akulani last Benitez window, Akulino, window yeah. was one of the nastiest things you will see in football <laughs> history, bro. Look, we need to bring that window to yeah. court. It was <laughs> so nasty. But remember, we had and they had like a title bit, I think the year before, 08, 09, I think it was. Yeah, they were like, like they were closest. Mm -hmm. And I remember just seeing that's 
Mm-hmm. Voronin, I think that was the yeah, window. Andre Voronin. Oh. Yep. And then remember, we had interim Hodgson before Hodgson, he went to England. Yeah. Remember that? Koncheski mm-hmm. and them man coming through. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then Shelby. we had Kenny Dalglish <laughs> with that window with Carroll. But the thing is, it's from... different owners. It's different owners. No, no, no. But I'm, I'm just saying Liverpool in general. Mm. Dalglish, Rodgers came for a little bit. Mm-hmm. What happened with Rodgers? Got sacked, no? Fizzled Rodgers. out. Fizzled out. Fizzled yeah. out, what? After three years. Klopp's come in. It's been, what, six, seven years of thing and whatnot. Like... Cycles come and go, you're saying? 100%. Yeah. 100%. But that's what I'm saying. Klopp but should have prepared for this next cycle. If this is the kind of gap who you believe and are giving the keys to the club in the sense of the fans Turn are giving him, the the they're giving him more control of the transfers, mm. cool. If you're going to give him that, he has mm. to take ownership of that and say, all right, cool. These guys I love, they're not, they might not be able to deliver me two, in two, three years' time. Mm. Let me get the next ones prepared. And those ones have to be bankers. Mm. I'll be honest with you, like Darwin Nunes for me, I think is going to be one of those signings that has set Liverpool back massively and people aren't going to look at the damage of it till about a year or two time when he's being sold. Because that's big money that you could have done to use overhaul your midfield. Mm. It's changing you and moving you away from the system that has got you success over the past five years. Mm. And then this guy is now a net negative when he's playing because of the amount of chances he's missing. So it's it's one of those things you have to get that next step. One, one thing I, though, you got to remember got at the right. same time, yeah. One thing that we got to remember is that in modern day football, Managers ain't really built to be lasting 10, 15 that's years. To, but that's, yeah, that's, that's trying, what I'm saying. Yeah, but like, so you're looking at it. All right, Fergie did it. Pep is doing it at the moment. Um, these these Pep two been, are managers that have been, been he's been like seven years now. Pep's been, how many times has Pep said, oh, I, I'm secondment and this and that? What? How two many, more years. How two many, more years. Yeah. Time, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially yeah. said that I'm going to take a break. Yeah, I'm I'm even, and, and look, what Pep is doing right now is hinting at uh, another rebuild. He's been hinting at it. And I'm like, they just done another rebuild two years ago. This is insane. So he's already hitting another rebuild. That. Obviously, Ferguson always <clears throat> carried on doing it. Now, that could be an issue if you want to talk about ownership and stuff. But the problem is, Pe- um, Fer Klopp does not have a history of even doing these rebuilds. So mm. we can't sit here and say, oh, well, he should be able to be able to do that because he did this at this club. Or he hasn't got the history of doing that. No, but so that's, the, that's, the, the, that's the problem. I would I would the manager's you, name, no, what I'm trying to say in his defense... You're, you're not at that big gig, is what <coughs> I'm saying. You now have enough managerial experience where I feel like, Klopp, you're, you're experienced enough to know how to navigate through. Even though you've never been down this road before, you have, you've done enough success and done enough work in the last seven years to show me you can build a side. Mm-hmm. Can you build it again? Mm. That's where there's just a disconnect, I feel like. I, I, just, I, I genuinely think manager's time spans in this day and age is very, is very little. It's so very, is, that's it. it's very little, bro. There's probably going to be a time we're saying, flipping out Ten Hag, what you want, bro? Like, you reinvent the wheel. It's I'll do that, man. No, I'm just I, saying, I, though. Like, my manager. Look, Conte, <laughs> look, no, look at that. Conte, we know <laughs> we what he is. To the grave, baby. You look what Conte is. He comes in. Jose, same Jose thing. Jose till we die, baby. <laughs> Jose, the same thing. I think because we had, like, you know, we grew up on Wenger who did 20-something year. Ferguson did 20-something year. Pep is now doing a long so stint. Like longer, it's not, com- it's not teams, common. Boy. Remember David Moyes and that always used to be long-term. Yeah. Now you've got Everton and all of these teams. Not Everton, that's a bad example. All of these small teams that now, after three years, new manager, please. It's not a common thing. So Klopp being at the club seven years, all right, cool, he signed a new deal to basically 10 years. What happens after that? He's going to sign a new one. Klopp's going to do 15, listen, 20 years at Liverpool. I, I listen, it's crazy. Not, you know what I'm I mean? Not making, I'm not making the comparison in any way, shape or form, but just hear me out for a second. With Ferguson, yeah, you see when Roy Keane and all these guys are coming out and saying, yeah, obviously they praise the brilliance, but what's all the other stuff they're also saying about Ferguson as well? What? He he's nasty. This, he did that. He's a oh, dickhead. Oh, he didn't, no, oh, he didn't freshen it up. But, oh, he knew that he's going to leave us in a bad way. Oh, this and that. And it was because, to a certain extent, Ferguson... What are you talking about? At the end, last, at the end of his cycle? Yeah, once he, once he left and everything, oh, okay. everyone's always saying this, yeah? But that was because, if you looked at Ferguson, he had so much stature and power with Manchester United. Mm. If you look at Jurgen Klopp, he has so much power at Liverpool. Mm. It would not surprise me if people start going, oh, you know what? Yeah, it should have been freshened up. Or, oh, but Klopp is... But even so, yeah, he's absolutely. got that much power, yeah. You see the comment that you said about Pep calling out the players and mm. saying, yo... They don't have the motivation. They don't mm. have that. And <laughs> even, even in a game that they've won, mm. where they've had the comeback, I'm like, this is what a manager does. Mm-hmm. I don't know what rebuilds even Pep has been a part of. Because mm-hmm. Pep is like a three, four year stint guy and I'm out. Mm-hmm. So, but he's showing, listen, if I'm going to be here for a rebuild, there's certain standards that mm. previous squads had. You man are going to match that. Mm. And I don't care if you're folding. I don't care if you're yeah. the I'm moving you all on. Yeah. And I love that about Pep because I'm like, it shows to me 
he he loves the winning. So yeah, me, I feel like Klopp is still too. Guys, I, I still want to hug you. Yeah, yeah like, but you, I, like I know your kids' names, yeah. Kendall. I can't just tell. Yeah, them. yeah. Got, but he tried to say Sunderland he tried type. to say this week that he's not too loyal to his players, and that um, you know basically try and say he's gonna he's gonna I'll be, be outlast a lot of players. But the thing is, right? Like everyone talks about what what Ferguson done or what Pep done, but I'm sure Pep has had a few different people under like beside yeah. him while at Man City. Mm. Ferguson, we had Steve McLaren, we had um, Carlos. we had Carlos Curious, we had we, Molstein, we even had um, what's the Donny that went to Man City, Brian Kidd. That's yeah. a shout, We've had actually. so many different assistant managers as well and and coaches in the team where yeah we're rebuilding, but okay cool, I'm gonna have this British nasty squad, Brian mm. Kidd, yeah, we're gonna do it, you mm. Bobby Rob, yeah, yeah Brian Robson is gonna mm. be that team. Now we move to 99. We have Steve McLaren, who's a little bit of a cuter mind. It's gonna help these young players like Beckham, Giggs, mm. and that coming through. Cool. Now we're gonna move on. Ronaldo, the foreigners are coming. Now international. Cures, come and bring. Mm. Then now for the final final phase where football's starting to move a little bit more party tippy. He's bringing in Morstein, who had a little bit more of that mind. Mm. So Ferguson always refreshed his team as well. The players had to get used to new voices. Hey. However, you know Klopp, what they're gonna say now. Klopp, yeah, I mean, are you blaming it, on Pep? I'm not again? It. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm not even how are you letting them no, get to this no, now? I'm not letting them. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not blaming it on Pep Linders, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, Klopp's not. May, he might not be having that side of things as I well. He brought, it, yeah. he brought in the throwing. The throwing yeah. Because what happened? That that the, no, no, the, the reason why you can't blame Pep Linders is because he's won with Pep, no, Pep Linders. Pep Linders was there last year. No, no, yeah. I'm saying that Klopp brought in the throwing coach. Yeah, you know, I'm not, what I'm saying is they had Pep Linders <laughs> last year, so you can't turn around and say it's, it's all Pep Linders. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because when... What's that Donny's name that was at Dortmund? Um, the the, the Gagan Press mis- Master? Uh, whoever that... We probably don't know his African. name. If that's his name, I don't know. He's a sporting director there. No, no, no. The, the other guy Mark, with the hair, he looked Mark. like Snape. He looked like Professor Snape. Oh. You know what I'm talking not about? Mark, not Dolph Ziggler. Um, is it Dolph Ziggler? What the? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, his name is something like What's that. It? Mark Ziggler or something. Perfection. <laughs> no, no, no. His name is Mark Ziggler or something like that. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, though. The Dolph CEO, bro. Ziggler yeah, is his yeah, name. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. Have, when, he, when that guy moved on, they brought in Pep Linders and it continued. And it continued pretty well. But all I'm saying, all I'm trying to say is, is Klopp, if he's fully in charge of everything that people try and say, Fresh maybe he's not patterning, you. maybe Fresh he's not patterning you. things well. We'll say, let's go super chat though. What's his name? Buvak. It was uh, Zelchko Buvak. He looks just like Snape. That's a joke. He looks like Snape, really? <laughs> oh, where'd, you, where'd you get oh, Dolph that Ziggler one. from, bro? <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. That's 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 Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler is hilarious. John Watsky. Um, the, the, the let's CEO go super chat. Oh, yeah, 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 super, yeah. super, super chat, chat, super, super chat, super, super chat, chat super, super stuff. 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 Let's go, man. S says Anthony Abdi shuffle <laughs> championship <laughs> baller <laughs> like. <laughs> Yo, that's kind of racist, you know. I'm deep in it, but anyway. <laughs> hey, <don't move> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he no, just no, 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 no. Any Germans are Dolph. No, hey, Dolph, yo, Dolph let's, Ziggler. Let's be tread on careful Dolph, waters there, you know. Dolph Ziggler is hilarious, bro. Anyway, man God. said he did, used to do the thing that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Man said Dolph Ziggler, you know. <laughs> Wait, man said what? Anthony Abdi shuffle. Yeah, Anthony Abdi shuffle championship baller like a mad. Uh, yeah, AJ well, goes man. Anthony needs to go to the same uni Matoma attended all the guy does is twerk with his left leg oh my gosh uh, we have to give praise to Brighton as yeah, well yeah yeah I'm yeah. gonna segue into um, Brighton don't worry uh, PLS27 says everyone is enjoying that Liverpool downfall yeah of course yeah. of course they enjoyed everyone else's downfall Next. Mm. and then Olu says finally Liverpool going back to the Cheru era ah Oof. gosh you remember I remember them days Ooh, man Latalic. yeah oh, you forgot to mention <laughs> skin at Gerrard and that. Oh. you forgot Christian Paulson bro Hey, oh Paul my God, God, that was another nasty one on a free from mm. Schalke. You know, they've had, they've had loads, man. Koncheski. <sighs> yeah, we said Koncheski. Um, scary teams. On Brighton, though, we have to give Brighton, Brighton credit. And then it's a perfect segue of transfer market. But let's talk about the game. Let's talk about the Matoma finish. Wow. Wow. Bro, that's some real... Galactic real... football. What's that, Galactic. Um, what's that award they gave Salah that time for some... Puskas. Yeah. Contender. No, the Puskas is... That's is a contender. The Mbappe touch. World Cup final. Mm. Puskas. Moment of the year. Nah, Puskas. See, that's a moment, but you have to no, take the okay. quality of the no, goal. No, no, no. You have to take, quality, in, yeah. you have to take in moment. I don't give a... Alisson, best keeper in the world. 
Yeah, I know. Look what he's getting. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm just saying. No, you know, no, three no, no, no. Hey, yeah. three, three touches, I'm same leg. Yeah. Is that not what the FA Cup's all about? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know me. I love the listen. FA Cup as well. Three touches, same leg, though. That's Oi, insane. Killer. That's mass. That's different. That's that. That's that different type of balance, bro. That's that blue lock. Bro, man, that's that's that proper, man. They they be learning that. You're a cultured no, guy. No. You're a cultured guy. You're a cultured guy. Bro, you know you're in Asian countries, they be learning that, that balance from young, fam. Listen, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, so, man. boy, he's producing. Listen, oh, man. Real. No, but, I mean, great for them. Of course, I want to talk about Brighton, actually, because they find themselves in a quite an interesting position. Um, I just got a quote in now that says, the Zebri on the Arsenal bid uh, for, obviously, Casado. He says, I would like Moses to finish the season with us, but we are ready to go forward without him. I respect mm. his decision. I can't be also, I think he meant to say, I can't also be the chairman. So we will see in the next few days. So of That course, sounds like a deadline day gone. So for, for context. I was going to say, someone has a super chat regarding uh, Caicedo. Let's so go to it. Well it, there. Yeah. it says, in before Todd Bully hijacks the deal, what's the panel and Leos' thoughts on Caicedo being linked to Arsenal and Chelsea? Well, they ask you, right? That's you you said the panel, right? <laughs> oh, I thought you said Leos. No, I no, said no. both. But... Um, all right, cool. Um, so, based on this comment, yeah, what I wanted to talk about with Brighton is Brighton are in a really weird situation now. And obviously, for those who know what Moneyball is, you scout, you buy cheap, you sell. And of course, these players will obviously know coming in, I'm going to get sold. Mm -hmm. You said something in the group chat, which was so sick, which was a lot of players are bugging out for moves now. And I think the players you referenced were Casado, who else you referenced? Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> oh, no, no. No, no. We're seeing now, we're in a place now where... Because money's been thrown around, players that like, oh my gosh, I need to move. Mm -hmm. With teams like Brentford and Brighton, and specifically in this situation, it's so bad because ultimately, you've already told the player that when the bid comes in, we're going to cash in. Yeah. But those teams actually kind of have aspirations to move up the table now. So it doesn't surprise me when a manager goes, we're, we're prepared to move forward, we're going to scout someone else. But you've only been here for one year. You've only been yeah. here for one year. But that 90 mil is looking a bit enticing. Mm-hmm. So it's mad, and it doesn't surprise me that he's bugging up because he would have known when I signed, at the end of the day, you buy me for cheap, I'm going to impress. I, like he said, I've got 10 siblings. Mm. When the bid comes in, sir, please let All me right. go. So it's really hard because they're probably thinking, right, you know, if we get a few little cup from, we can, we can win something here, but they're going to have to keep selling their players because that's how they make their money. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a Southampton situation, isn't it? Yeah. Where Southampton don't play money ball. No, though, but, but it's the same I mean, thing. But, you know, How long Southampton did? Southampton, Southampton, Southampton were like, bringing in Schneidlin and all these type of guys, Mane, selling, you know, to be fair, signing them for Lovren. cheap. And, you're right. Yeah, you're right, and no, end up. But yeah. then they're probably going to look at Southampton. Where are Southampton now? 20th. Course, they're probably going to think, if we keep doing this, eventually it's going to clock out. I'm sure when they got Livramento, Lavia, all these youngsters, that was their thinking money behind it as well. It's not going to work if they go championship. Let me tell you that now. So. You, but that's the thing about Brighton, yeah, or this situation is that you want you mentioned earlier about like player power or mm. club power. It's like, at what point do the club? I get it. I get what he's saying. I fully get it, bro. If you're making that money, you can change. You can change less. your whole hood. You can change your whole neighbor. Country, you know, bro. you can change whatever. But I understand the position that he's in. He wants to change his life. But I do think sometimes, yeah, these players at these smaller clubs just kind of. They kind of lack respect, bro. Do you know what I mean? This these men brought you from wherever league you were in, brought you into this main stage. You can't just turn around and say, Oh yeah, thank you. I've done my bit. Thanks. Bye. Now I'm not even gonna come training or whatever the situation is. Mm -hmm. I wanna go. They just probably gonna say to you, bro, stay, stay, let us see where we are. We might get a little conference yeah. league or something. Then you can go. But man are just now just like seeing the Arsenal want me, Chelsea want me, this team Newcastle want me. I'm not coming training. You know what I mean? I'm going to yeah. post on Instagram. I'm out of here. Yeah. Like, come I'm, on, man. Like, let's have some form of... you got Instagram, give and take. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, the, it's yeah, just the, yeah. the post on Instagram, allegedly he's got new agency and you could tell, straight off the full time as well, you could tell it was a deliberate ploy. I agree with your point on that. I think where it's weird is, for instance, Jack Grealish, different sort of football club. City come in, chairman, Jack come together and say, listen, we will sell you, but let's have a gentleman's agreement. We'll sell you at this point. All right, cool. Whatever happens, they sell, they're getting money, they reinvest. Mm -hmm. This situation here where it's known that you're buying players for cheap just to sell them and you get a record bid for the club, mm. 
I understand not the way he's going about it, why the player would do what he'll do, uh, but especially after the Cucurella did no, exactly I, I, the same I hear thing. It, I hear it, but at the same time, what I'm saying is everyone's talking about the money, the da da da, da. Yeah, but it's the respect. Fam, yeah. Fans that turn up into the stadium every week, they want to see that team win. Mm. We're not all mathematicians, bro, that mm. want to see my club made 60 million profit. Mm -hmm. No, they're going to see how far their football club can go. Mm. So when these guys just turn around and people are saying they should just accept it, they're going to make so much profit. Mm. Bro, what about the fans? I the fans, you know what I mean? The fans yeah. want to see good players. They the fans want to... This yeah, is yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. If it was the, sorry, bro. If it was the NBA where players can wake up one morning and a guy saying, Trey, you're up to Utah, yeah. I get the player power. Mm. I get the player power in the NBA because the the club can just violate you mm. without your consent, yes mm. or no. Mm -hmm. But in football, it's not like that. Mm. You have to consent. Even if they try to tell me, oh, yo, yo bro, mm. go to uh, this team all the way down, the, go to some team in South End. No. I'm going to be like, no. Do you yeah, know what I mean? I'll so, but it's different. These. So I get it. But in football, bro, the player power, you can't just turn around get, and say, I'm I, not coming. I, 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 I agree with most of what that, you're bro. saying, but this is where we're at now in the game, mm. in my opinion. Like you've got players with, literally on their social media platforms, they've got millions following them, bro. Yeah. Like if I can get a message out and avoid the club drama and all this and get my move done quickly, it's almost like the game is the game now. I almost feel like sometimes we're trying to apply the old rules and we expect the old school loyalty from players. Not loyalty, Let's, just no, 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 understanding. No, no, no. I get that even the respect aspect. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I feel like tr players are just like, they don't really play for the badge nowadays. In my eyes, everyone's just here to win or to get money. It's, it's a one job. Of the two. It's a job. Let's be honest. Like, it's a job. No one's here. Like I'm seeing men who are claiming diehard uh, Arsenal fans. They're signing for Spurs. Yeah. Men who are diehard Chelsea fans signing for it's Arsenal. A, like it's so a job. But this is yeah. what I'm saying: is to expect this almost like fan, what we as fans expect from ourselves that loyalty, that respect. Mm. Turn up and you know be professional. It's like, bro, let's be real. If you man don't like where you're working and you hear next job across the street has offered you ten times the wages, are you gonna turn up to work still? Ah, you ain't. So now that it's Premier League edition, we all of a sudden expect it to change. One, I don't think it's going to change. Two, it's just where we're at at the moment. I've accepted that players are going to kick up a fuss. Anthony Gordon, in my position, is in no position or doesn't have the ability to <laughs> cause this much of a fuss, in my mm, opinion. Mm. But he's in a position now where man can ride a Range Rover, has two million followers on Instagram and says, you know what, I'm out. Mm. And it's enough pulling power where the club have to say, you know what, there's enough kickback where if we force him to stay, people say we held him against his will mm. because everything is done out in public now. It's done out I in this place. So well. there's no more even back in the day, like players used to submit transfer Tra requests. Thank you. That's what I was going to say. never heard about it. Mm. Like Jolie and Lesko was here talking about, oh, he, he requested this. We yeah. didn't hear about it. We yeah. only heard the one on January deadline day. But now it's like the first instinct of someone looking sad at training. Yeah, he wants out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You see you see Pogba and Jose, the way they shook hands today. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jose's leaving soon. Yeah. You, these things are done out in the space and it's just where we're at in the game. No, I mean, honest. look, I understand you, you that side. You can't like no, it, I, but I, it's I, part I hear, and parcel. No, I hear that side. I, I hear that side. But I still do think there needs to be some form of balance. Like, yeah. All I'm saying is, with what you mentioned about the Grealish situation, or similarly to what we're hearing about the Declan Rice situation, mm. Bro, keep us up, please. Um, you're gonna, we're gonna agree. You can, you can go for this gentleman's get, agreement. Yeah, 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 do you, yeah, I mean, yeah. you can't just Arsenal want but me. Then Instagram, you do gentleman's um, thank agreement. Thank you. I've got ten siblings. I give you <laughs> a jump. You got siblings, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying to win. I'm trying to win. I would have said siblings. Hi, I said no. Nah, you're fucked. You're fucked. Man said, <laughs> hey, hey, man said, hey. man said, I'd like to fit Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue probably kill me, man. He was like, bro. Man said. Ten sit man said, what's this fucking cunt talking about? I'm trying to get to oh, FA Cup. I'm trying to get to Wembley. Man, man said communicado said, official, bro. I'm so, like, bro. Man, so, I'm trying just, to get to Wembley, mate. Say something there as well. I just forgot it now. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, it, wait, no. is, your, is your junior play, brother play centre mid? Uh, <laughs> crazy, <laughs> crazy, but no, bro. I think ultimately the reason why I brought the player power thing in the, in the group chat as well is because I remember a few years back, Arsene Wenger was basically talking about how players are going to start running their contracts down and move for free and then obviously get big paydays, which we've seen recently. But now Chelsea are kind of flipping the model and saying, listen, man them, eight years, seven years, five year contracts and everything. It makes no sense to me, that no, but, one. But th this is... For I'm, the player, it makes no sense. I hear the player doing favour for the club in, mm. oh, okay, you guys can spread but the fee. But now you're locked in. You're now locked in. Yeah. And, and the if thing you want to leave... You can't renegotiate the deal if, like, Mudrick is now on 120k. Yeah. He starts playing at world-level bars over the next two mm, years. Yeah. 
he, uh, players no. at his level will demand 300k. There's, no, but to me, there's, there's, there's definitely something in the contracts there where it's like, yeah, but contracts. you play FM, you play yeah, FM, yeah, man, know, you play know, FM. Know, you know, there's some stuff in there. Yeah, 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 you know, twenty five percent each year, and I don't know. It still sounds crazy. What what I wanted to say is, we now that player power thing. It looked like it was going from the the club shifting over to the player because of that. Mm-hmm. Now, with situations like this, it's hard to see where the player power sort of thing sits now because ultimately, if he gets his move on dead landing, do we say that's player power or do we say that's the club just being like, you know what, doing what's right for us? No, but the club... the club it is player power. Because they don't want to sell it. Because they don't. Power. Really, truly, they but would love to have a situation it. like that where the club is getting a record fee, as he's saying, like yeah. they paid minimum for this guy. Bro, mm. you've, everybody's winning. Like, even though you're losing a quality player, I think I look at Brighton's system, as you're yeah. saying, they can get another... The fans I don't ain't look winning. At the fans ain't winning, and bro. I'm the like, fans ain't winning. That's a generational player. I'm not saying We can't replace No, but the fans ain't winning, though. The fans ain't winning. The fans are not winning. The club's bank is winning. Jakob Muda, where's he these days, bro? bro. Uh, like, you, have to, last year. you have to look at this. Like Brentford did it in the championship when they were selling more pie and Watkins and whatnot for big and and like with Tony, for example, Tony yeah. will eventually move for a big thing and whatnot. But if you look at Brighton, yeah, they would have seen in the last few seasons what? Cucurella, who's the other one that left recently? Ben White. Basuma, Ben White, um Dan Burn. Mate, Dan Burn didn't go for a mad feed. Mm. But, but, like, but like, yeah, like they're going to be thinking, raw, like, is this what we are now? Mm. And we, we we always say, hey, with Premier League clubs, you have to decide what you want to be. Are you going to be the lonely men that try? You can't just be floating, floating because yeah. eventually you catch up you, you get stoked all of these men. So they got to be careful. You get... <laughs> Don't worry, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> I mean, uh, after a while, okay, after, as I was saying, after a while, it's all good to... You can invest after in, a while, it's all good team. to say that, oh, we sell, we sell, we sell, but... What you I don't know, man. It's it's a weird one. You but can't keep I it guess, going. I guess who's opinion. next? McAllister, yo, you're coming somewhere soon. Mm. Um, Matoma, you're next. Evan Ferguson, you're next. It's, it's yeah. peak, bro. Yeah. It's the peak. Thing the thing I was just want to say, they want to do it on like time too. Like, we sell this guy now. We'll sell him. We'll sell uh, McAllister next summer. Yeah. They're, they're battling for Europe right now. Yeah. Mm. This is what I'm saying. It's like they're, that's why I said at the beginning. You're in a weird position because for the first time in your club's identity, we might be able to leave with certain. Interesting, you, know? you say that, and you guys want to leave. Mm. No, Mr. No, Bloom looked at the message and he said, listen, I can't lie, yeah? Listen, we can Western Union, your, 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 your 10 siblings, something, mm. but I can't, right, right nah, now. He read mm. the Casemiro story and saw the Arsenal results. Hey, our, our, pro- our, production, our production <laughs> team over here, the, the, uh, he's the owner of this place, is good friends with Mr. Bloom. Hey, Mr. Bloom, mm. you want to come down? <laughs> <laughs> you want to come down? Let's talk. Mr. Bloom. Mr. Yeah. Bloom. Mr. Bloom. Let's hear your hey. side of the story. <laughs> Let's hear your side, bro. Hey, yeah, I, mean, I know Moises is annoying no. you, bro. I'm but with you. Just quickly, though, you said if they might be qualifying for Europe this year. Yeah, let's we'll say they do qualify for Europe. Yeah, mm. and you men are talking about our oh, players should respect their contracts and gentlemen's agreement. Mm. I recall Harry Kane, gentlemen's agreement. Where did I get him? But that's a Spurs are a different club. Uh, Daniel mm-hmm. Levy's a wrong say one. that. Daniel Levy's we a wrong one. We don't know, one. Mr. Blue. We're saying, oh, yeah, he's <laughs> Listen, we don't know, Mr. Blue, what he's like. Mm. He could be behind I heard, he's a, I heard he's a top Love man. Gentleman. I, 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 heard Love he's a top top man. I hear this. I hear this. Yeah, I hear this. <laughs> when you qualify for Europe now, now you need serious players for Europe. Is it a thing where Casado, can you just stay for one more year? Can you just stay for one more year? Because contractually, I got you for four. Listen, right, let me give you. Can I just ask That's, you, sir? Can I just is, say so? This is a slippery slope. No, I'm no, saying, hey, saying player right, power goes that way. Yeah. If club power comes back, yeah. they can but hold all, you. All I'm saying well. is, yeah. Luis Suarez. Look what happened to Sadio Luis Suarez. Wait, wait, hold on. Because of club power. No, but no, no, because he's a. Du- he's yeah, almost done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, but, yeah, that, that, that was a bad but, example. Yeah. Scratch right. that. <laughs> Luis Suarez, Steven Gerrard, and them. He was going to go to Arsenal. They said to him, bro, can you just sit down for one season? Let's see what we can do, and you, you're going to be able to go. Suarez said, all right, cool, whatever. Mashed it up, mashed up the Prem, historic season, got to Barcelona. Cristiano, he was talking about, I'm a slave. Fergie said, come, come link me and Manny, sit down. You'll, you'll go, give me one more year, you'll go. We got to the Champions League final, we won another league, thank you, bye. What, Moises Casado can just turn around and say, oh, 10 siblings uh-uh. and get a transfer. <laughs> Fuck it what up. Was that? Hey, every man's going to say they got 10 siblings now, bro. I got 10 too. You know what I mean? FTBL, hey, can I get a raise? <laughs> I got 10 siblings. <laughs> I got hey, 10 siblings. Hey, I got two kids. Uh, bro, he's got two kids. Got two kids. You're your Marley. I know you got. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Hey, listen. I got five siblings, yeah? Tap five! Tap five! Man said, 
Listen, I don't know how many aunties and uncles I got. Oh my god, too many. Listen, on a real, I want to see what happens. Either way, either way, if they if a club like Chelsea do something like this, yeah, 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 yeah Arsenal or Chelsea oh are eating gosh. as well. I can't like, great lie. signing for either one if they get it as well, because both teams, I think, could use it. Nah, real talk. Listen, man, we had some technical difficulties at the front. We've been <coughs> going for a little bit. Um, should we do the quiz? Yeah, I mean, is there anything people want? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, super chats. We got a few super chats. Go so on. right now, Wrexham are actually drawing 2-2 to Sheffield United. They were, up for, they were up for a minute. Ryan Reynolds is at the game going crazy. Jeez. Right um, I went hey, I might need to go and... We might need... Leah, we might have to pop down to Wrexham, oh, you yeah. know? I was, <laughs> I was, you want to chat? Let's chat too. No, but you know what I mean? To, remember, I went to go watch so much... Oh, yeah, yeah, you Rife. did, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got, yeah, yeah. Um, they're, yeah, their model's interesting still. But um, hold tight them. Hold tight mm. them. Yeah, so NDANI says Ryan Reynolds FC slowly killing teams in the FA Cup. Hmm, that's yeah. historic. Michael B. Jordan's trying to aim, aim, yeah, work. Right the same. <laughs> aim, aim like that, brother. Get, get, get your money up. Get your money up. Yeah, Creed Four. This is please. Creed. <laughs> bro, make Creed for, it's Creed Three even out here. It's coming out next month, bro. It's coming out next month. Hey, start working on this. Creed Four, man. Go get your girl back too, man. You know what I mean? Hey, that's what I'm running around with your team, me. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, uh, bro. I'm trending. I don't know. Uh. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Hey. He's got no, your honey bun, man. man. Hey. Oh, so cool, so. Bro, he's running with <laughs> your sugar dumpling. Cinnamon hey, bro. He's running with your I sugar said, dumpling, I man. Said, oh, hi. Bro, I'm hey. trending. I I'm trending. I, I don't, don't know why. why. Hey, flipping. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> and then we got, we got another one, too, saying from Dennis Waweru says, Cams, your club snatched two of the best Arsenal players just because you could. Don't get on this high horse now. Who? Brighton, Who's the two best the Arsenal players? Van Persie and Alexis, probably. Come on. What, I mean, we gave you Mickey. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. please. Come on, Mickey wanted out. Please. Is that just harassment For you, harassment. my friend. <laughs> <Mickey>. <laughs> what, 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 I'll what? give you gonorrhea. You give me ST. <laughs> 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 nah, nah. Oh, man. No, what do you mean, though? Uh, Van Persie was on his last year. He wanted out, and we, we bought him. Yeah, what, what do you mean? Like, that's just hey, a transfer. Henri counts as a thing because oh, Henri wanted to leave Arsenal before that. Fan. Mickey only got the mm. move. That's another example. Mickey only got the move because Alexis wanted United. Because hmm? you lot came calling. Mickey wanted to go, bro. Hey, do you remember Piano Man? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. Mickey, Mickey wanted to go yeah. too. Nasty. How about right, what about when Arsenal took Silvestre off us? <laughs> hey, we wanted to keep him, man. You are this player power, bro. <laughs> you he would be pushed his way out. You can talk <laughs> with with um Ashley Cole. Mm. Isn't it? You see what I'm saying? No, that man was meeting in coffee shop. <laughs> sitting in the ivory tower. No, I'm you talking you sound like a victim right it, now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Original hijack boys, man. Yeah. I saw the, I saw the, the original picture tapping too. up. You see, tapping hijack. up used to be a thing. Tapping no, no, up no. ain't even a thing anymore. No, no, no. It's you normalise it. On IG. You normalise it. IG. No, now it's like, oh, the players are the players are going libertine. Come, come. Nasty. Come, stop. Even for Fana in the summer, I won't forget. You lot did some player power shit there, yeah. See, you sound mm. like a victim right now, though, forget, bro. I can't lie. On, the elephant never forgets. Cool, mm. That's what I'm saying. It's bad, man. <laughs> NDA and I also says, not going to lie, I actually have 10 siblings. I'm Nigerian, by the way. Mm. <laughs> hey, listen. Yeah. You, you see, the Marlies like are trying to cook the books. out there as well. The Marlies <laughs> are trying to cook the books. We know you're Marley. Don't try it. Don't try it. Hey, you ain't nice. You ain't nice. You ain't nice. You ain't nice. Whoever wrote that, don't go and click their thing before they say, listen, please send me... Hey. Money to set account, Bro, listen, man. Listen. You know how people like to scam. Yeah, don't don't yeah. interact with that person that said that comment. Um, boy, listen, is there any transfers? You said that you want to see a couple signings before they No, of course. You want to see a couple signings, but... You, you said you want to see... I'd like to see a centre-back, at okay. the least. I No, I might not get a midfielder, yeah, yeah, yeah. but give me a centre-back. I heard this morning we're putting 25 minutes for a Leverkusen centre-back in Sapi. Okay. The the YouTube comments every time I do a stream, it's his the name that's probably thrown in the most. So I'm okay. like, aye, right. mm. he must be. I, mean, I haven't seen too much of him. So I also got a big up Man City for taking their FA Cup serious and playing their full squad as that's well. Nice. I don't. I personally think Arsenal should have played their full squad. They ain't got a game midweek. Why not go for the FA Cup? I mean, are you really gonna throw every single competition? because you're going for the Premier League. I mean, you, you can win, bro. You, I've seen doubles be won. I've seen City go how far. You've seen Liverpool play every single game last season and, and, and be there to the end. I don't get throwing every competition because we're in it for the league. Yeah, the in, league in my opinion, the Arsenal, in 20 years, man. Arsenal should have put their strongest team out. In my, listen, in the end, basically their first 11 was on the pitch anyway. It says on Ben White and Aaron Ramsdale, 
Everyone was on the pitch. Yeah, in the end. So in the end, so when people were saying, oh, we're throwing it, but you're bringing these guys on and what if they had scored? It would have been an FA Cup replay. So was Arteta really throwing it? I don't really know. I just don't get what it was also, about. I would have personally played the strongest 11, see what it's saying, and then if you want to make the subs, cool. But thoughts on that also, Man City, also, look, this is what winners do. Winners win. They play their strongest team. They win competitions. And that's why Pep wins. We can talk about, nice. oh, he's got a B team, but he built that depth. Thoughts Jose, all these guys. It wasn't. Who's? Thoughts was on Saka's performance. Bro, great. you're the one that came up here doing apologies. Now you're telling yeah. thoughts I, on Saka's of performance, bro. I just asked the question. It wasn't. It, it wasn't. was good performance by Nathan Ake, though. Yeah. Very good performance. What, that was what, what, I, that was what I was hoping to, to lead into. You see, that's. Look at that. Now like we've got Nathan Ake fans back oh, here. Oh, now you like Ake. Mm. Oh, now you. That, please, please, please. Come and put in my team of the tournament. No, no, we don't allow nobody else on the bandwagon. It's full. What I wanted to say is. We, um. We started the episode talking about oh, momentum, yeah? They still have to play City twice in the league, right? Uh, maybe he didn't want to give too much of his... Potentially. Plan. It's I'm just, poker, isn't it? I want, to play, I want to play those other at the same time. People were saying that City wasn't moving them and Arsenal... Nah, it were not cook, cook. So there's that side that it's like, you know what? I want to see what Pep's cooking with. So mm. when we face him in the league, we might have a little sense mm. for him, But... We got one more Super Chat. Go on, let's go Super Chat. And then... Uh, yeah. Bradley Busher says, if Mudrick is worth 100 mil... How much is Mitoma worth? They've ruined the market. They've ruined the market. Can I, can I, say, something, market. Can I say something with this, um, with this Mudrik thing? Yeah? The reason why it's so funny is because football teams, football evaluations, all this stuff is so dumb. I can't pronounce this guy's name to him. Kar- Karadon. Kvicha Kvarashkala. Just cool, cool. I just got him Kvara, bro. Say it for, say it for the people. Kvarashkala. Kvicha Kvarashkala. So, he was bought from a team, yeah? And it was similar situation to Mudrik where the war was disrupting stuff. But if you were doing insights or things and whatnot, you would have seen that he he had qualities. They bought him for, I think it was 10 million mm. because he, he had to leave his team to go back to a team on loan. They bought him for 10 million, maybe even cheaper. Mudrik could have been bought <coughs> at the same time range when he was quote unquote cooking for the same price. But inflation and a bit of hype and everything gets you there. This is not to say that he's not going to be a great player and whatnot. But all I'm saying is in them situations, clubs have to stop buying in type and be smart. Like we mm. all say, go to the source. That's Don't wait saying. for something you, to get too no, big. No, 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 no. <clears throat> You're saying go to the source, but that's what man have done. Man have gone to the source and they're overpaying at the source. No, but this is what I'm it saying. Used to be you go to the source and you say, hey, little, little uh, Shakhtar, yeah, 15 mil, we'll take that. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. Yeah. No, true. What we started doing is started going to Shakhtar and these clubs and saying, hey, 100 mil, and they're like, <laughs> look at you, <laughs> idiots. <laughs> come, come, come. 100. <laughs> we saw my man go for that much, so he's going for this. Yeah. It's like, you killed yourself yeah. in a way. Yeah. So, but I, but that, the, the, yeah, I fully agree. I feel, This is what I'm saying. I said it in my group chat as well. As soon as Matoma scored, I said, this is what I'm saying. Go, Can these clubs, I'll, these the big source. clubs, scout, bro. <laughs> go and get your scouting networks up. I know it might not be as easy. We're just sitting here saying go and scout, but scout these players bro like not everyone has to be a hundred million now say everyone's gonna go five mil. Now, say we could have got him for five mil yeah. we could have got enzo for 17 mil we could have got julian alvarez for 15 mil try get all of them now it's 300 mil this is the thing that like, you need to start going and grabbing these look at look, even though he's fell off now remember what did you guys do mk dons deli ali thank you and he turned into what he turned well, into you need to start trying to do today, these things man about bellingham's brother today apparently they joby's hard joby. yeah. and joby's hard. he might be better no, no, debatable but joby's hard though but this is what i'm saying I'm you true. need to start getting these type of guys because we can't no, We can't be spending 100 million per player. It's not sustainable. It's getting ridiculous, it's man. Football's getting, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. getting what, ridiculous. What I would add on to that as well is, our big clubs, and this is a question for you guys, the fans at home, our big clubs scared of going to find that little jewel and then it's a high bust to it. Because at oh, the end of the day, bro. for me, if you think about it, if you've got a, a, a talented squad and you go and say, you know what, I'm going to put, Bro, 50, it million, it 50 million Alvarez. That's that. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. But nah, end, if it goes right, it is, the potential it is so sick. It doesn't match what the fans want. And I say this, this is where the fans come in as well. Because someone like a Martinelli, for example, when yeah. he signed from the fourth division, Good that, scouting. Is yeah. incredib- that is a prime example of what you're talking about. Yeah. City D in mm-hmm. Brazil, unknown team, picked him up, gem. He is what he is now. Great scouting. But Arsenal fans at that time, I'm sure, were not moved by that yeah. transfer. And that's the thing, is when you come to these big teams, every window, they want to be moved. Mm. The big money signing, the big name signing. And the problem is, is 
if you don't get that in and you keep getting in the five million Enzo, mm. seven million Casado, you're going to be looking at that window like, we just got a bunch of gambles, uh, yeah, a bunch yeah, of lowest yeah. fees. Uh, this ain't moving me. Mm-hmm. No. But the potential of what could, they could become. Mm. And this is where I think when they go to clubs like Brighton, Benfica, they, they show out. But the problem I have is we're not letting these men, what we used to, even like 10, 15 years ago, players would have to do like two, three years at oh, these clubs. From, yeah. They would have to do like, all right, you've won, you've won two titles at Carrick, Benfica. All Can these you guys. do it in a Champions League season or yeah. whatever? And now you're worth 40, 50 yeah. million. Yeah. Now we're doing six months spell. Yeah. You've shown two mil. little flashes. Mm-hmm. We got three comps out. 100 million. 30 games in Benfica, Enzo's worth oh, 120. Yeah, 30 games at, at, in Ukraine, you're worth 100. Casado's paid just a year. Yeah. You're worth 90, would, whatever. It's, it's, it's game's Arsenal, gone. Yeah, I would love it if Arsenal and Chelsea both just said, you know what, we're going to withdraw. Let's see how Casado does for 18 months. <laughs> can he keep up this level? Two years time, if he still can maintain That's that level. Hey, no, 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 What's a no, no, Ron? He's, Listen. A no, no, try to go on strike and they're like, no, we want Casado, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Yo, you get back to training, bro. Old <laughs> wingy style. <laughs> bro, no, no. up at the wrong half, big man. I don't know what you're on. That way. Gordon's going. Casado's going. But no, no, why are no, you not no, training, no, bro? No, you know what I'm saying? No, he's trying to leave the classroom, yeah. And the teacher goes, wait, where do you think you're going? Right. I said, I said, go, go, go. No, but let's get into real. this quiz, man. Listen, let's go, man. Yeah, for real. Let's go, let's go. So, the way this is going to work. There's just two more. It's go on, there's two more super chats. <laughs> let's go. Uh, Cinnamon so says, I think about. Arteta wants to give chances to the subs in relationship to the FA Cup. Go. <laughs> and then Kenny TK says, not going to lie, Casado is good, but we need to drop the bag on Enzo. Mr. Bully, pay and don't speak. Mm. That's it. Apparently they're going back in epic for him, though. Jersey, man. Hey, hey, yo, Wrexham, so, three two. For real. Hey, swear. Ryan Reynolds. Hey, that's my daredevil. That's why he was Batman as well. No, that was Ben Affleck, innit? Whoa. Who was Batman? Like Deadpool. No. No, no, he was he no, was Daredevil. Deadpool. He was, no, no. De- De- Deadpool, Deadpool, he was Deadpool, Deadpool, Deadpool. So who's Batman though? Ben Affleck, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Well, he he kept, oh, they all look the same, heroes, man. man. Was it, was Him, it, Aston Kutcher, was it, they all look the same, no, bro. But what was it? What was it? Yeah, I mean, was it green? Not was it green? Not green? Yeah, what was it? Reverse was it green Lantern he did. Remember, he did one and it was shit, and then he got Deadpool. Yeah, Green Lantern. It was yeah. Green Lantern. Yeah, it was Green Lantern. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, green Lantern. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> mm, he got, he got a hey, second, he got a second green chance. Lan- yeah. Green Lantern. When it's the black scene. Mm, green Lantern should have been black. Do you know, green Lantern should have been black as well. Yeah, it should. Mm, mm. Justice League cartoons, if you watch. Mm. Mm. <laughs> where's where's he snacks? Uncomfortable conversation. Where's where's he snacks? <laughs> mm. All right. Hey. Okay. Explain I'm the rules. Explain listen, the rules. So we are gonna go into a quiz. We will do it. Um, I don't know how many questions do, but you guys are participating as well. Listen, as you see, we've got no phones, no laptops. So the way it's going to work is production is going to read the question. All right, let me put my phone away. We are going to read our responses, and you guys can put your responses in the G. I said the GC. Wow, you men are not GC. In the comments. In the comments. <laughs> Maybe subject to to budget restraints and whatnot. FTB, listen carefully. We may send out a random prize to someone that gets a question on rent. Man, so. I'm adding extra bits. Hey, ain't no, ain't no <laughs> prizes up that. in here. FTB, I'm not that. That. <laughs> Ain't no Listen, prizes. Listen, just join in for the fun. Yeah, we're here to <laughs> back, man. We're here to right, back. Cool. Let's no, get into it. Let's get into it. Low. We need guests. <laughs> we need guests. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. You know when Josie used to speak in the video? <laughs> <laughs> Sending a message. Send <laughs> and brother, bitch, are you listening? All right, cool. Production, over to you, man. This is your show. No, 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 explain probably. Oh yeah, so your so production no, is question. gonna yeah we production response yeah yeah okay. he's gonna give us a response but what's the thirty seconds to respond? We want to do thirty. Right, seconds. 30 long. How how long? Long. How long? Ten. Fifteen. Fifteen seconds. 10, 15, Fifteen seconds, 15 seconds to give a response. Go on. Cool. And it's what's the questions? Um, is it what's there's the topic of the questions? So the the topic is all time Premier League. Okay. okay. And some questions will be multiple choice. Yeah. Some questions it'll just require a straight answer. Okay. So are we gonna write our first? Or are we gonna we're gonna write our first answers? And then show, show it. Okay. And then put it down. Fine. Come and then come you come let come. us know who. All right. Cool. cool. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, yeah, you yeah. guys can keep yeah, track. Yeah. We'll we'll I'm sure the inside. comments will keep track as well. Yeah. Let's go. Question number one. All right. Question number one. Woo! And we'll oh, start. Shiver. We'll start a little easier. Easy or hype. How many draws did the Arsenal Invincibles have? I know that. I'm done. I know that. <laughs> now where's the phones? Don't be trying to hide no phones back there. There's no phones back here. Wait, why are you looking at my sting, no man? Five, I'm, not. I'm, Four, see- I'm seeing a three, racing. Two, one. <sighs> oh, we know ball. We, 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 we're experienced. We're experienced. We're experienced. Yeah, correct. <laughs> hey, oh, cool. That's one. I've seen my enemies celebrate too much. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, cool. 12. Mm. Frank the Boar. Oh, give me a second, mate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, go on. 
Frank De Boer holds the record for the least games managed as a permanent manager. How many games did he manage before he got sacked? Uh, cool. <laughs> so we both got, we all got one so far. Yeah. yeah. Five, four, three, That's two, one. <laughs> seven. The, an, the answer was four. So no! Four. Yeah, seven. <laughs> yeah, but he's from your country, isn't it? That's yeah, what you know, I know man. all about Frank De Boer. <laughs> Frank De Boer hat. Hey, since can, I heard that, my you, eyes lit up. Oh, and I know this. Can you do the Jose impression, Wait a sec. <laughs> he got sacked after four games. Four Premier League That's games, bro. It was much. the first month. That's why Jose said he was the I worst ever manager. Dude, 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 that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't force it. I can't force it. That's too funny. <laughs> I said Frank De Boer. Hey, what's Four that? games, what a dud. up, yeah? Huh? What a dud, man. We perfect. Get this off, man. Right, so far, I've got one. Go on. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah, let's go let's to go, 10. Baby. Mm. Mane, Sadio Mane has the record for the quickest hat trick in Premier League history. To the nearest minute, how long did it take him? Blood clot. I know. <sighs> Blood! Hey, yo! I've got two in my mind. <laughs> I'm guessing here. I'm straight up guessing this Go on. one. Wait, hold on. How long has it been? Five, four, three, two, one. I think it was even eight. I think it was eight Where's minutes. Where's your answers? 39. I asked what? how long did the hat trick take? Nah. They, they got you it. said closest to what minute no, no, was no, it? No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, I said, the way you said read the question. I just heard that question. I got yeah. it typed out. Mane has the record for the quickest hat trick. What's the answer? Three. To the nearest minute, how long did it take him? Three. So I closest. I got six. Yeah, you got six. Thank you, you very much. No, no, it's like rounding up basically. So the correct answer is two minutes fifty six seconds. He took it. I thought it was four uh, minutes. Nah, three so minutes. So what we all go wrong? Yeah, we'll right, go okay, cool, cool, I'm cool, cool. cool. <laughs> you just get madness for that. I misheard that question completely. I thought you were saying what minute was did he get the third goal basically? Nah. Don't worry, I misread that. I was too excited to answer it. He got a three minute hat trick. That's crazy. Hey, listen, man. Uh, which player? Tied of Alan Shearer has the most penalty misses in Premier League history. Tide. Misses. Yeah. Shearer has the most tied of another player. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Five, four, three, two. I've got it wrong, but I know who is. I've got it so wrong. I don't even know why. Yeah, this you got it right. Is, this is self sabotage. <laughs> What's up? The answer is actually Wayne Rooney. Oh my oh, goodness. You know what? Oh man. What's no. wrong with Wazza? <laughs> Yo, we're, like, we're drawing blanks over here, bro. Takes penalties often. This is a good quiz, like, I don't bro. think we'll expect Yo, Lies, we, we said intermediates. Like no, no, I like this. No, I like this. This is a good quiz. Yeah, no more. <laughs> Wayne Rooney. <laughs> hey. Hey. What's wrong hey, are they getting it right in the comments, by the way? Is oh, yeah, they're right? Google merchants. Them, some of them are getting it wrong. Some people are saying uh, Lukaku, Lampard. <laughs> Lampard. Mm. Mm. I thought it was Gerard, though. I thought it was Gerard. I was like, Lampard and Gerard. Do you know I thought it was Gerard, though? Because mm. I just, I don't know why. Remember when he scared that penalty for Hodgson? <laughs> yeah, that just yeah. came into my head. Madman. I thought, because Lampard, Lampard <laughs> took so many. So I'm yeah. like, all right, he would have had the opportunity to miss a lot. How many questions have we done? That's four, right? That's four. All right, cool. In... Okay, let's do another one. One second. Who did Chelsea sign Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank from? And I'll give you four options. That's your uncle, man. AZ you should know. Al AZ Alkmaar, Leeds, Middlesbrough, or Atletico Madrid? Hey, if I get this wrong. Hey. That I, just goes to I'm, I'm, I'm going to laugh at you because I know you're going to get it wrong. <laughs> I'm already you know, laughing I'm at you. Ah! I'm going to get you. Four, three, I got it two, wrong. one. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the answer is Atletico Madrid. You're right. I wrote that. I wrote that. No, that's <laughs> wrong. Do you know what? You know what? Yeah. Uncle <laughs> Mike. <laughs> that's your uncle and you got it wrong. <laughs> Fab. <laughs> uh, the thing is, as soon as I wrote it, I said to Fab, I said, I wrote it. Silly little him, stint in Atletico him Madrid. Him and Christian Bale. Yeah. Nastiness yeah. yeah. uh, they did for that one year. I should have got that. <laughs> I should have got that one. <laughs> that's funny. That's that's the advantage. I had time to watch. I had time to change it as well. I literally said, "Go right." Oh, that's so dumb. This one, Cam and Maze, you must. Get it right. Oh, Nigerian question. I, go. I got two up on him. Go on. I don't be pre in these Nigerians. <laughs> Everton had three. Everton had three Nigerian players on the books at the same time from 2006 to 2010. Name them. Ooh. Uh... <laughs> from when? Sorry. 2006 to 2010. Three at the same time. 
So is it the closest to it or? What do you mean? There's three names. Yeah, but if we're going to get two. And you don't get any points. Yeah, you should get two. No, we should on, get seven for that. Oh, so this is worth a three point no, question. Man. Yeah, you should get the closest to it. Because you're very good at this. I think I'm... <sighs> five. What do you mean five, four? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you mean no, 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 it is 15 seconds, four, goal. Three, two, one. I don't know if you can read my writing. Joseph Desiree Job. Was he the third one? No. Y Yakubu Yoba and Ichibi. Yes. Get I in there! Oh, get my God, in I there! Get yeah. Give me my three How points! Did I I get Give me my three points. points! No, it's one point. Oh, it's one, it's one. It's one, one point. point! One point per question, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, this Relax yourself. This should at least be a two point question. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. 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 No, you'll be high. Huh? Did you get it right? No, no he put, I wrote Eminike. I wrote right. I was thinking Eminike. I couldn't think of Eminike. Eminike should be, bro. He looked like in perfect cell. You'll never, I'll never forget. Oh man. He I'm looked like in perfect cell. I'm annoyed at that That's one. That's what I was thinking of, but I wrote the wrong name. I was like, because yeah. I didn't think he wasn't there them times. So it doesn't even count. Nah. It's a job was that bloody middles, bro. And Nietzsche be, yeah. you know. Hey. That's when he was the chin. young gun. That's when he was the young gun. <laughs> he's stiff, stiff chin. That's what I'm saying. In perfect cell. You know when? Didn't he want to be American as well? He wanted to be American. 17. When cell absorbed. I'm saying this question. He wanted to be American. Bad. Gareth Bale opened his Spurs career by being on the losing side how many times in a row? Oh, was it 21, fuck. 22, 23, or 24 games losing in a row? That's right. a tough one. Five, you're you're loser, Gene. Four, Look at the losers. Three, two, one. No. The answer is 24. <sighs> Hey, you man, some losers. <laughs> you, you man did that to your goat. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, it was the first 23 games he played and he didn't win. We yeah. still won game. Yeah, oh, yeah, like yeah. Whenever he but remember played. what I said before was, the they show. They were calling him an mm. unlucky charm. Mm. Hey. Um, we're not letting that come to front of the We're not letting camera. that we come out, boy. If we ever did that. Patreon, that's when them sort of takes go up. You have to pay for them sort of takes. Hey, that was blasphemy. How many How many questions have we done? Seven. So far, I don't know. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yo, seven. people, these are hard questions, Sam, you know. I've got one. <laughs> yeah. These are hard questions. Host hype. Uh, you might on. be losing that gig. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hosting. <laughs> That's what I'm hosting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come. Which country has provided the most players to the Premier League outside of England? Ooh. One that I love questions like that. This is what I do. This Five, guy's talented. Four, is that you, should go, you should go work for the countdown to replace Three, Rachel Riley. Oh man! Two. Oh man! No! 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 Yeah, the one you missed I that one. Must no, take no, her no! No! He didn't answer. He didn't answer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he Go missed on. it. He missed it. I Thank you. I watched that entire. Thank you. And and okay. And, and my wife. Okay. 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 Key points. They want to get points. Cheap points. What, you, what did you put? He was Spain. I put Spain. I put the same thing. Give me my France. Come on, man. He just copied me. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't, hey, I Petit, Thierry, <laughs> Ginola. You're dumb. Don't do that. Don't you do know, that. Vieira, Viltot. You got lucky Timo. there and you cheated. That's eight. Two more, yeah? I got 15 questions. So uh, yeah, yeah, I like this. I like ages. this. <laughs> Damn, we're, we're on 3-3 three, three three each. Come. You're on one. In 2018-19, the golden boot was shared by which players? What season? Sorry, let, me, let me say it again. In 2018-19, the golden boot was shared by which players? 18-19. I mean, what's the selection? How many players were involved? You should know this, man. It's only a few years ago. What do you mean, bro? No, no. You should know. It's, you not, should know. it's not that long ago. <laughs> you should know. Because I know the, there have been two out of the last three that have been shared. 18-19. Mm. If you need help, City won the league. Liverpool came second. But you, you got us. This is the thing. Nah, that's, this is not a difficult question. You got to get your knowledge up. I can't lie. <laughs> get your <Whoa>. knowledge up. 18, <laughs> Five, four, three, two. One. No, I got this wrong. Yeah, but you see, I saw, I saw how Alba, many players. Salah, Mane. I said how Martin, many players. Alba, Mane, Salah, Kane. That's wrong anyways. Who yeah, I got it. This is what I'm saying. Boom! If you had told it. me it's the three because Salah the other... shared it twice. If you had told me yeah, I, Salah shared how many it once players. with Son. Yeah, but I said that how was many last players. Year. If you said how many players, I would have got that one. I said how many players. Now they care about semantics. No, not for me. I don't know why you wrote Vardy. If you had told me three players. What year was it that he was involved? Yeah, yeah. 
There was a year that bro, was involved. that was so easy. If you had told me it's three players, yeah, I would have put it on a golden play for him. Come let's on, go, man. let's go, let's go, let's go. That's poor, roll. man. That's poor. Can you, can you, wait, can you ask bad questions? Now you're mad at it. Yeah, that was, I don't like that one. I asked, is it three players? I understood it clearly. Oh, okay. That's why I asked it Say no more, say no more. Who has the most appearances in Premier League history? Which player? And watch them get it wrong, you see. And I'm going to laugh at them. Because I know Cam's will get it right. Shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> James <laughs> Milner. How did, did I he know? Take? Cam's will know what Mason did wrong. He never did. I thought you were a I just laughed. <laughs> Gareth Barry. I thought you were a tool. That was one of those questions me and Cam have just asked each other. I read <laughs> Barry first. I thought you were a tool. Nah, bro. And that's the thing. I saw you write Barry and he wrote out. And I said, Oh, so what? Can I just say, I saw you write Barry? No. That's cheating. No. Mm. It only mm. means you're at fourth. Not even third or second. No, but what is, what's the record he got recently then? I don't know. I don't know. You got a record recently. <laughs> it's Gareth Barry. Who are the other ones? Lamps, uh, Giggs. Ryan Giggs is second. Giggs. Lampard third. Yeah. Under fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David James fifth. David James, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Brett Friedel should be somewhere as well. Who is yeah. the only player to win the PFA Player of the Year while their club finished in the bottom half? PFA Player of the Year? Yeah, PFA Player of the Year. The only player to win it while their club finished bottom half. Wow. Oh, my God. PFA Player of the Year. Mm. Mm. PFA. PFA. There's one it. person who must get this right. PFA per year. All right, cool. Go on. Three, two, one. This is a stab in the dark. Three. But it two, might be a good one. One. No, it's David Ginola. Oh, oh my Scott gosh. Won the yeah, in 99. Well. In 99. Yeah, because Scott Parker won. What did he win? Football writers. Oh, this ah! is my ah! Ginola in 99 when he somehow we did not get a player of the year when I we won the treble. I it would be a player from that era. <laughs> this guy, someone said Messi in the chat. <laughs> bro, bro, we won the treble and we did not get a PFA player of the year. Ginola got it, but Beckham got second on the Ballon d'Or. Can they get these Voting voting systems team. right, like please? Marcus and LeBron. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can they get these voting systems right, uh, please? Uh, let's go another one. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, in 2011-12, who scored the Premier League's 20,000th goal? I'll give you four options. Jesus. Oh. Leighton Baines, Mark Albrighton, Clint Dempsey, Yakubu. Jeez. Four players. Can you say names again, please? Clint Dempsey, Mark Albrighton, Leighton Baines, Yakubu. Yo, chat. Five. These questions are crazy, bro. Four. <laughs> Honestly, I'm on one, Three, bro. two, one. What'd you give it? It was all brain. Oh, right. That was just a guess. Oh, that was right, just cool. a lucky guess. One, two, three, four, hey, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, I remember, ten, I eleven, that twelve. <laughs> twelve, 12 questions. questions. I got half of them so far. Who what are you on? Six? Yeah, six. You got six? I'm on, I'm on what? One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm on two. Who has the most Premier League hat tricks of all time? What's the question? Who has, Who has the, the most, most Premier League hat tricks of all time? Of all time? Who has the most Premier League hat tricks of all time? Please, please. I actually don't know that. Yeah. I'll be honest. Five, four. I haven't even uh, read anything down. It's too late to change. I know it's wrong. Mm. I know it's wrong. I just read anything. Yeah. I, was too I know late. it's wrong. Yeah. Let's see yeah. It. I was too late. Oh. I was just writing bare late. I know it's wrong. All of you guys. Yeah, I thought so. Aguero. <sighs> oh, Aguero, so you, you hit man. Yes. You hit man. Fuck. How many we got left? Damn. Mason's got to go 100% to not finish last. Uh, uh, you got to go 100%. Uh, as long as I don't finish last, I'm good. Don't, you know that one. You know, you know as long as you don't finish you know, last. I came in thinking I was going to finish last. No. I'm no. as as that, as uh, this guy's the flipping uh, human. The human is like, I know. I'm not, I'm not on it today. I'm not on it. I'm nah. usually getting these. So, I'm so good at these. What the hell? This one, this one will see if you guys get it right. Which player has played in the North London Derby, the Merseyside Derby, the Manchester Derby, and has won the Premier League? FA Cup, Champions League, and Euros. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, you got to give me 15 seconds that for that. That cannot be a 15 second no, question. No, that cannot be yeah, 15 yeah, seconds. Okay, what so is the question? Guys, repeat which that. Which player has played in the North London, Merseyside, and Manchester derbies and has won the Premier League, FA Cup, Champions League, and Euros? He's played in North London. North London, Merseyside, and Manchester. And he's, okay. And he's won what? The Prem, the FA Cup, the Champions League, and the Euros. Jesus. Okay. I think I know that. Wait, North London... Wait, North London, Merseyside. Yeah, Mersey let's side. go. I know it. I said it like three times. I know it. Uh, North London. Uh, no. North I London Derby I, or London Derby? 
I'm thinking I'm, I said London though. There's like 20 London, London derbies. Man about okay, to start okay, putting okay. flipping okay. Thomas Frank Manish. players. <laughs> 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 Manish. Manish. Yeah, Manish. No, my head's Bro, gone. I got no answer. I, I think I know it. Yeah. My head's gone. I got nothing. My head's gone. I got Did you answer? No, no, I was trying to do my Nicholas and Elka. Oh, Cam, you are special. I am annoyed at that one. Cam, I'm annoyed at that one. I said his own name. I said Cam, you're special. Cam, you are special. How am I doing this? Hold on, hold on. I was like, yo, who the hell has moved around now? I could only think of I was trying to think of Raul Morales. Bro, won the Champions League with Real Madrid. He played up north. I was like, Won the Champions League with Real Madrid. Played for Liverpool, played for Man City, played for Arsenal. He's been everywhere. Played for Chelsea as well. Yeah, not North London. Got Golden Boot. Lowest scoring Golden Boot. Honestly, I might make it a three point question. No, oh, no, no. Then. no, 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 oh, no, oh. now you and I have three point questions, but when I'm getting my Nigerians, right? I can't lie, it's, it's, it's a tough question. And like, like it's, it's one of those, like if you've heard it before. Is this the last question? It's the second last question. Okay, cool. Uh, no, no, it's the last question. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's our last question, yeah? Okay, so then this, right, cool. this will be the last one. All right, cool. I, I'm gonna make it a three point question. What are the scores right now, actually? It's, I've got I, two. I've got five, what you, you got? got? Five. I've got six. six. Okay, and you got what, two? So no matter what, you Maybe can't you should, win. You should no. the three-point question. Yeah, give me the three you points. Give me three the three points. points. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you get two right, it's two points. No, it's, 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 it's just one. one, one yeah, it's one. one, 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 one if you get the question right, it's worth three, three points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and what if you don't get... Oh, oh so yeah. not multi-choice. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go on. Okay, okay. All right, go on. I think there should be one point for working out. Shut up, man. Working out. You can show you working out. Go on. Let's go. Player, which current or former Premier League player's surname can be spelled purely with Roman numerals? Uh, but I don't even know what Roman numerals are. No, numerals. no, question the bummy. <laughs> the uneducated question the bummy. <laughs> What's the Roman numerals, bro? <laughs> like, v, I, X, I. Like four is like I, I, V or whatever. Like, remember what Star Wars? V is like, five. Like, I ain't even watched Star Wars. X That's for Neeks. ten. That's why I said Maze with no. I'm a watch. I'm a watch. Only I know it. No, wait, hold on, hold on. I know what Norman Rubens are. Hold on, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. You got, you, this isn't, this isn't right. This isn't right. What is this? What, no, no, but tell me what the Roman numerals are. V, I, X. No, tell me. V, I, X. V, I, X, D, like, D? Yeah, that's a Roman numeral. I didn't even know. There you go, that's why it's a tough question. What's D? No, but we need to know what the Roman numerals are. You okay, you had another question after this. Is that I question... Did. Okay, did. go yeah, with that. I can, I can ask you a different one. Let's go no, with wait, a different wait, wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. That is too complex. Now, that one is interesting to me, though. Just tell me what the it's Roman too numerals to are. It. <laughs> Post-production is asking guys, saying we, I should give you guys another clue. <laughs> what is the post... No, no, no. Okay, what are I the agree Roman with that, numerals? You don't look. I'm going to tell you. Look, somebody get the Roman numerals up. X, you know when it goes around the clock. Are those the only Roman numerals? No, no. And then I think there's D he mentioned as well. I'm checking what Roman numerals are. Listen, this ain't a history lesson, bro. This is a trivia quiz. No, no, I'm on Google. What are Roman numerals? I'm on Google. What is it going to be? Yeah, what? So Roman numerals are I, V, X, L, C, D, M. I, V, X, C. I'll tell you what the Roman numerals are. I, V, that's what I wanted to know. Say that again. L I. This guy wants me to hand him the question. No, no. I. Say I. I. V. V. X. L. C. L. C. D. M. And you said you can spell his name using all the Roman numerals. No, purely. Just purely. What? Well, name and surname. Just surname. Yo, it's gonna, you guys are going to get it now at this point. No, nah, I can't. Uh, just forget it. Do a different one, man. What was the answer? This is crazy. I'm going to I'm gonna put I, this aside. Wait, this is... If oh, wait. Someone, no. Oh, wait. This, someone get this in, in the, the comments. You can't do it. You yeah. No, I'm going to get it in the comments. No, we're not doing it, though. No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it, though. We're not doing it. So you can play by yourself on this one. Yeah, we're, we're no one's doing this one. Just do it. No, because this is a dumb on, question. This, this, but you just ruined nah, the thing, though. No, no, no. No, no, no. This would be so dumb. This would be so funny if I get it wrong. That's three points, no? But we didn't participate in the question, though. You know what? Now, nah, fair play. 
Fet, I'll give him. I'll give him. He can take the three points. I still win. <laughs> no, nah, that one. That, that one. Nah, I wrote it down. You know when you're playing. Nah, that, that one's controversial, bro. That was a controversial. Nah, ending. nah, I get it. Cause you've given us essentially yeah, the, the letters. This is like countdown. Yeah. Work it out, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And you're too and dumb to no, work no, it out. No, no, no. Because I nah, said nah, no, 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 no. Well done. Well done. No, but I said you worked out. Yes. You showed your smarts. You showed your smarts. Nah, that that's a controversial ending. You know what? Yeah, that's controversial. That's controversial. So that one, he showed us smart. So it's just five five. We we went through five five six. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Nah, that's that is bullshit. That is bullshit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Five five six. Let him finish. You mock Liverpool the time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let him finish. Now look at him. No, no, because that was dumb. The man, the way, the way that came. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Yeah. The way that came was dumb. Throw in one more. Throw in the last one. No, I don't like that. Do you know why I didn't come? No, no, no. Because you and Mates are just on level points now. Wait, now there's a potential you can finish last. Let me. No, no, no. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why that I don't agree with that. No, let me land. Let me tell you why I don't agree with that. Because man said. Oh, okay, I'm not doing it. You said, yeah, yeah, I'm not doing it. I thought that <laughs> meant he's just about to give us the answer. You asked him, no. what's the next question? I thought he was just about to give us the answer, but in this case, no, when oh, I started I've got hearing it. the countdown, no, he says bro. he's got an answer. Uh, we have to I, didn't about that. I did it in place. Yeah, I'm not he did it in place that. still. The I ball was still in place. Yeah, yeah, you. He did it no, in the ball still in place. I'm talking about the game makers here. I'm talking about the game makers here. It's a disgrace, bro. It's a fucking disgrace. I'm talking about the game makers. I think last question. Just, just to keep, just to satisfy him, and I'll the make it a ten-point question, bro. Nah, point question. Mar, mar, mar. Oh, no, no. Wait, Wait, can you go and get me? a hard question right now and make it three points? Don't three do points. that. What are you doing? Roman He's numerals. trying to rig it so we can win. We can end the game now, and I've won. Our own guy didn't even know what Roman right, numeral is. The game master didn't know what the Roman numerals are. Know what it was. They gave them to you, bro. bro, but when I was asking you initially, you were saying I don't know what it is. No, I don't know no, what it is. No, he never said that. He never said that. All right, listen. I'm happy to leave it at five-five. I don't mind. I won. I'll take it. I'll take it. Listen, listen. If you are new here to stoppage time, not just FTBL stoppage time. OG stoppage me members will remember you know ball. We will. Oh, mad. I said I'm, I'm freestyling. No <laughs> man. We will be bringing back more stuff like this. I know a lot of you have been asking when a certain stoppage feature has come in. We're not going to let you know. We're just going to turn up one day in wigs <laughs> and you're going to know what time it is. But listen, like... Roman numerals, you know. <laughs> Our own game master didn't know what that is. He did. He did. He didn't say all of them. He didn't say all of them. He didn't want to give it to you because it's essentially feeding you the answer. And then he fed us the answer and you still couldn't figure it out. Bro, as soon as he wrote it down, right for 21, he said Flipping hell. Come in. Listen, man. See, man, I'm, I'm a I'm visual learner. All of this retaining stuff in memory. You, this now man, you lot see who's the worst loser here. And look who's talking. This guy said the Roman numerals, and you, you were like, oh, what? There's a D in the Roman numerals. <laughs> yeah. You didn't know where it's either. Did I not say some of them? The, the ones on the clock, I know. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. I don't know what the Roman numerals were. Listen, <laughs> like, and anyway, that was share, good, anyway, that was good. subscribe. That was good fun. Um, <laughs> Can Game know, Master do better, Let please? us know in the comments how many you got right without cheating. <laughs> hey. um, we will be back. Premier League football's coming back champions league football is coming back so we're going to maybe do some stuff around that as well mm. ftbl culture is coming out midweek <laughs> so make sure you check that out as well a really special one someone uh, you see what i did there what so it's going to be a special one mm. Mm. good work good pointing good pointing good pointing good pointing bbc segue is there <laughs> but listen like share subscribe go and share this on your way out go and like on your way out don't just leave Without doing anything, have some manners. We'll be back next week. We're out. Hold that cams. <laughs> <laughs> Go feed your tent.